Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I am going to unbox a lot of cool products and gadgets that I got from Banggood.com. Here you can see all the boxes. I will open and show you all these products one by one. So please watch complete video. Okay guys, so first of all, I will open the products of this small packet. So here you can see a small BMS, a 3 cell BMS for 18650 lithium ion batteries. And the next product is a power supply module for the breadboard. So we can connect this thing with the breadboard like this. And here are some Arduino nano boards. Here is a small buck converter. So you can use this product with your 48 volt solar panel to decrease the voltages from 48 to 12 volts. Our next product is a 43 amperes H bridge motor driver controller. We can interface this module with Arduino. And the next product is USB power meter. Let me connect it with a USB power supply. Ok guys, so here is the USB wire from my PC. Now I will connect this power meter with this USB port. You can measure the power consumption of any USB device with the help of this meter. So now I will connect this card reader here. As you can see, this card reader is only consuming 20 milliamps. Here are some buttons, two on the top side and two on the bottom side for multifunctions. You can also measure the milliwatt hours. Our next product is multi-size male and female header pin box. So you can make any male and female header pin according to your requirements. And uh, here is a voltmeter and ampere meter for the DC power supplies. Let me connect it with power supply. Ok guys, so this meter can show you the volt, ampere and the watt hours. Our next product is this networking toolkit. With the help of this toolkit, we can connect RJ45 connectors to the networking cable and we can also test the networking cables. Let me open it. Very nice packing. So here are some connectors, RJ45 connectors and here is a 9 volt battery 
for this cable testing device. And here is the punching plier. So basically with the help of this tool, we can punch the 4 pin, 8 pin and 6 pin connectors. Our next product is this power supply module. So basically this is a CNC power supply module but we can use it as a buck converter to convert the 48 volts from solar panel to the 12 volt to drive the 12 volt fans and the LED lights. So we can control the voltages with the help of this knob and input from the solar panel will be connected here with these two terminals and the output wires will be connected here. Ok guys so here I connected this thing with my lab bench power supply and the input voltages are 30 volts. Let me power it on. Here is the small button and uh, as you can see the output voltages are 12 volts. So we can change these output voltages with the help of this knob. So this is the very useful product if you want to convert the 48 volt solar panel to drive the 12 volt loads. Our next products are some crimping tools. So basically both tools are same. Let me open and show you. Only the small difference of these teeth. This one has four teeth. And this one came with six teeth. And here are a lot of ferrules different sizes and the colors. Let me tell you the purpose of these ferrules. So for example if you want to connect this wire with this terminal block. So if you connect it directly it will not make a perfect connection because small wires are going here and there. So with the help of these ferrules we can put all these wires inside the ferrule like this and uh, then we can crimp it with the help of this tool like this. So now the wire will not come out and uh, we can connect this thing with terminal block very easily. Here are some MC4 connectors. And uh, here is a MC4 connector toolkit. With this crimping tool and these small ratchets. So we can open the MC4 connector. like this with the help of this ratchet very easy and uh, here are the pins and uh, here is the crimping tool with this lock here so basically you can crimp three different sizes with the help of this tool from 2.5 mm to 6 mm square. I will make a separate video about connecting these MC4 connectors with the help of this tool. Our next product is this Unity solar MPPT meter. So with the help of this meter we can measure the power of any solar panel. Very nice and beautiful packing.
so this is the meter and uh, here are probes and uh, here are two ratchets to open and close the MC4 connectors and uh, here are some cards nothing else so the positive wire will connect it here and the negative wire will be connected here so now for testing I am going to connect this meter with my power supply okay so now we will test the power okay so it is showing the maximum power is 77.7 .7 watts and the voltages are 22 volts and the current is 3.5 amps so in this way you can also measure the current and power of every solar panel here are some Wi-Fi based multifunction panel meters so you can control and monitor your electrical data through a mobile app Here is the temperature sensor. Okay guys, so first of all I am going to connect this panel meter with main power supply to show you the functions of this meter. Here you can connect Wi-Fi but I am going to skip this okay so here it is showing all the parameters you can also set the over voltage and low voltage protection and you can also set the current limit here is the other panel meter so it is showing us multiple things this meter is also Wi-Fi based and in case of overload over voltage and under voltage it will automatically cut off the power supply you can set the limits here here is the high voltage limit and this is the low voltage cut off limit and here is the current and here is the time kilowatt hours watt hours and the temperature and uh, you can turn it on and off with this single button okay guys so our last product is this 1600 watts pure sine wave power inverter and uh, here is the output on off switch a small LCD and the battery wires will be connected here so basically this is a DC 48 volt version so that's why we can connect it directly with a 48 volt solar panel 
here are the DC leads for the inverter. If you want to see a complete working video of this inverter, let me know in comments. I will make a separate video about that. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Purchasing links for all these products are available in video description. If you want to watch a detailed review video from any of these products, let me know in comments below. I will make a separate video about that. I hope you will like my this video and if you want me to make more videos like this please let me know in comments and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.